Welcome to Data Scientist Workbench. In this course, and particularly in the hands-on labs, you learned all about the powerful data science tools available to you on Data Scientist Workbench. You also learned that Data Scientist Workbench is an all-in-one solution for programmers, data engineers, data journalists, and data scientists who are interested in running their data analysis in the cloud. You saw that Data Scientist Workbench comes with many useful tools and programming languages pre-installed, like Python, R, Scala, and Apache Spark. These powerful tools provide a wealth of functionality that can make any data science or data analytics project easy. And to make things even better, they're all free. You also have access to a large number of tutorials on Data Scientist Workbench, and again, all of them are available at no cost. So, let's quickly review what you've learned in each of the modules. In Module 1, you went through an overview of Data Scientist Workbench, in which you learned how to register an account with Data Scientist Workbench, how to upload and work with your data, how to use OpenRefine to prepare your data, how to open and use the powerful build analytics tools on Data Scientist Workbench, namely Jupyter and Zeppelin Notebooks, RStudio IDE, and Seahorse. You also learned how to change your profile settings and even how to open the feedback forum and vote on your favorite ideas. In Module 2, which reviewed Jupyter Notebooks, you learned how to open and navigate within Jupyter Notebooks, how to create and save R scripts, how to run R commands and check your environment variables. You also learned how to upload your files to Jupyter, how to install new packages and load libraries, and how to restart Jupyter. In Module 3, about Zeppelin Notebooks, you learned how to open and navigate within Zeppelin Notebooks, where to find Zeppelin documentation and tutorials, how to import or create new notes, how to import notebooks and JSON files, and how to restart your interpreter. In Module 4, which covered essential information about RStudio IDE, you learned how to open and navigate within RStudio IDE, how to create and save R scripts. You also learned how to run R commands and check your environment variables, as well as how to upload files to RStudio, how to install new packages and load libraries, and how to restart RStudio. And finally, in Module 5, about Seahorse, you learned how to open and navigate within Seahorse, as well as how to create, upload, export, or download workflows. You also learned how to clone, edit, run, and clear workflows, how to zoom in and zoom out in workflows, and how to move nodes or fit them all in the visible area. We encourage you to keep practicing with these tools so you can make use of their full potential. And don't forget to take the final exam when you're ready. Like a carpenter's workbench, Data Scientist Workbench has all the data science tools you need right at your fingertips. We hope this course has inspired you to use these tools on your data science and data analytics projects, and that they'll help you along the way to become a great data scientist. Thanks for watching.